If you don't already know, OpenAI just released three new next generation audio models, including 4.0 and 4.0 mini transcription and 4.0 mini text-to-speech. And these new models claim to set new benchmarks with considerably lower word error rates than its predecessor, Whisper V3, and other models on the market, including Gemini Flash. Additionally, these models fit perfectly within a chained architecture texture approach where you have speech to text, LLM and text to speech, which ultimately offers developers more reliability, better transparency and debugging, as well as scriptable performance that's really needed in application ready voice agents. Let's dive in. So on March 20th, OpenAI just introduced their next generation audio models in the API. And essentially what this is, is all about making voice agents more accurate, more customizable, and way more production ready. Specifically, there were three models released. On the transcription side or speech to text, we had GPT-40 Transcribe and GPT-40 Mini Transcribe, both claiming to be state-of-the-art models delivering better accuracy, even in tough conditions, like a lot of background noise, tough accents, and people speaking really, really fast. And this is clear on their benchmarking. When we compare these new models against its predecessors, Whisper Large V2 and V3, we're achieving a far lower word error rate. It's also scored against similar models on the market, including Gemini 2.0 Flash, Scribe V1, Nova 2 and 3. So obviously a clear improvement in accuracy when it comes to the transcription front. Now finally we had this third model, specifically a text-to-speech model, which I think is quite impressive. So the GPT-40 Mini TTS is claimed to have better steerability. So giving us a lot more control on how exactly we want that speech to sound in the context of pacing, tonality and everything like that. There's a few more technical innovations behind the models, but we won't get into that this video. Really the core concepts to take away from this release is the adoption of three new models, better transcription and this new text to speech model. So why does this actually matter? It comes down to the concept of this chained architecture approach. So when we saw the release of the real time API, it was sort of this black box, not much much transparency when it came down to customization. It was a speech to speech model and we didn't have much control over what transcription to use and what text to speech model to use. Also didn't have the option to necessarily change the LLM inferencing in processing that text. And this release highlights this chained architecture approach. And this is what you see with voice agent platforms such as Vapi, such as Retail AI, is they all adopt this chained approach where we can take user speech, pass it into a speech to text model, have LLM process that text, and then pass that output text back into a text to speech model and then speak that to the user. And the reason why this is so good is because it gives you a lot more control and visibility at every stage of the pipeline, so to speak. So this is easier to debug your agents, you have better logs, it's more reliable and it's easier to script your agent, which is especially important when it comes to voice agent applications, especially in a production environment. Why the real-time API really just didn't work out is because it lacked this transparency. We couldn't necessarily customize a lot of the stages in this pipeline that we needed to, to produce a really production-ready agent. And before we get into the demos of the text-to-speech model and speech-to-text all merged into one, it's important to touch on the costs of each. The transcription models, specifically the 4.0, transcriber comes in at six cents a minute the mini half that so being a more lightweight model we're at three cents a minute and our text-to-speech model for O mini TTS is at 0.1 cents a minute so I think it's important here to test out this text-to-speech model and what they mean exactly by instructing the model not just on what to say but how to say it. OpenAI has brought out OpenAI.fm which we can open to test out how this instruction context prompt 
works with the generated speech. And we'll just jump straight into it. We have a bunch of different voice presets to choose from. And we've got this thing here, Vibe, which is meant to demonstrate this instruction part of the text-to-speech model. You'll notice here we have these instructions, which we denote the effect of the voice, the tone, and the emotion. So for example, in Ballad Medieval Night here, we've got a deep and commanding and slightly dramatic voice. Hello, YouTube. What is going on? I am a medieval knight. How are you all today? So pretty good. We can cycle through these different vibes and we can give them accents and effects. So here we have a slight French accent, sophisticated yet friendly. Hello, YouTube. What is going on? So really not much difference there. Let's maybe change the voice into Fable. Um, I'm gonna reset the script also. Ah, mes amis, welcome to the Louvre. The heart of art and history. Let's maybe change the accent to German, for example, and see if we can see any difference there. <laughs> Welcome to the Louvre, the heart of art and history. We begin with... Interesting, interesting. Let's write our own here. So let's say adopt an Australian accent, which is hard to adopt. G'day, mate. Lovely weather today, isn't it? So that was quite, that was actually quite impressive. I'm not gonna lie, that was very impressive. Let's move away from accents and try and slow down the voice and speed it up based on these instruction prompts. And this really helps in the context of voice applications when it comes to repeating digits, uh, repeating emails and so forth. A lot of these text-to-speech models nowadays find it really hard without SSML parsing to speak at the pace that you want it. Can you confirm that your email is jonas at gmail.com? Okay, so it said the whole email. Um, pronunciation, let's maybe add some context in here. Hello, can you confirm that your email is j-o-n-a-s wow. at g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m that's really good that's really that's pretty good let's do something funny here so voice effect maybe it can sing let's see if it does that i don't know the night was thick with fog wrapping the town in mist detective evelyn harper Hold her coat tighter. Okay, so it's at the start it was it was sort of on point there and then it lost it. Really not being too precise here, and I'm sure you could build these out a lot better. But you get the idea. We have a bunch of voices. Let's go to a male voice here. We'll change up the vibes here. We've got a few demos here. Softly, something like that. Today we're going to paint a simple landscape. Get comfortable, grab your brushes. And let's begin. Being very, very quiet. This is quite fun. Today we're going to paint a wow. simple landscape. Get comfortable. Okay, I want to try this auctioneer one before we wrap things up. All right, all right, folks. Welcome to the grandest online jewelry auction this side of the internet. What if we can speed that up? Very, very fast pace. All right, all right, folks. Welcome to the grandest wow. online jewelry auction this side of the internet. Let's get you bidding. Now let's do another funny test. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I've had a long day at work and I'm so tired. That sounded like he was very intoxicated. Now that we've played around with the TTS side of things, text to speech thing, where we were primarily working with one way output, so we gave it text along with those instructions to adjust the tonality and things like that, and it speaks that out. I mentioned before that really the main application here was this chained architecture approach to build something where a user can speak to an agent, have that speech transcribed, have it processed intelligently and then get a spoken response for that we need more than just the output side so the TTS model side we really need a system to manage the full loop so to speak with this new release how does open AI make this quite easy and that is where this idea of the voice pipeline comes in essentially what this is is open AI's way of making this chained 
architecture approach. So combining your text to speech, your speech to text and your LLM and any associated workflows or tool calls all into one system and therefore producing a nice AI voice agent. And if you're familiar with the agent SDK and agent text-based workflows, this will be very easy. Like I mentioned, we're using this voice pipeline. What this does is automatically transcribe audio input from a user, run our provided workflow. So this LLM and associated tools and handoffs and things like that, processing our text responses and then automatically converting those responses into speech and streaming that audio back to the user. So to reiterate, the voice pipeline takes audio input, transcribes it using GPT-40 transcribe or mini transcribe, convert that speech into text, pass it to our workflow for processing, and then take our text output for text to speech synthesis. And I won't get into workflows too much and I'm gonna use a demo here, but essentially a workflow is a text-based agentic workflow where we can include logic for tool use, as well as decision routing, function calling, agent triage as well, if you're familiar with the agent SDK. And specifically in the demo I'm about to show you, we're using an agent that has a get with a function. We have a few different triage agents that we can speak. Also in our workflow, we have a keyword where we can recognize and have the agent uh, returning this response. Just some bland, basic vanilla workflows, but the main point I want to drill home here is this idea of the voice pipeline. And this is really the idea of the chained architecture where we have a modular based system. So these different modules that are all associated with AI voice agents. OpenAI with this voice pipeline has made it really easy to adopt that and turn existing workflows or new workflows into voice agents. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How can I assist you today? Dog. You guessed the secret word. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, estoy bien, gracias. I don't know what you said. So we just went through a function call as well as triaging to a different agent. What I do want to mention though is that conversation we just had, OpenAI's released also Traces. And what Traces is, is now, which was released just last week, we can now also trace our voice agents. And this includes the conversation we just had and you'll see the flow of our voice agent interaction. We'll see we had a handoff. Um, I also <laughs> I thought I did a tool call there, but uh, maybe we'll just go back real quickly and get the weather. What is the weather like in Sydney, Australia? The weather in Sydney, Australia is currently snowy. If you need any more information or details, let me know. Okay, sure. For reference, it is not snowy and I think the way this tool call uh, works is uh, it's just based on random choices so it's not actually calling real live weather events starting with our Spanish agent this makes it really easy to start to have a bit more observability into what's going on within your voice agents I uh, will see a transcription was quite late in there so this compared with the real-time API is much more latent because it's not audio to audio we're going through that modular based system but that's besides the point we have our transcription Description, processing audio in and out. And then we can see we did a handoff scenario to a Spanish agent. We go back uh, to the one where we executed a tool call. We can also see that as well, post, get weather and so forth. So along with this voice pipeline, we can utilize it with traces to have a lot more observation on what's going on with our assistant, as well as assessing the performance of our voice agents. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment below. Again, if you're looking to stay ahead of the AI curve, do hit that subscribe button. I aim to upload weekly, but that is it for today. Until next week.